Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Tony. And I'm Shayna. And this is the Tony and Shayna show. Yay! Yay. We haven't said that in a long I time. Oh, it's been a while. Where have you been? Under a rock. Under a rock? Mm -hmm. I missed you. <laughs> well, you finally let me out. I did. I did. I unshackled her. And she's here. <laughs> I'm here. And uh, you know, before we get in even, obviously you know what we're going to talk be talking about, but I like to do this in the beginning, remind everybody. My buddy Tom Hardy reminds everybody to give this video a thumbs up if you could. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That would really be appreciated. And then we can Ew. swim around here like Donald Trump. I think it looks like fetus Donald Trump. Of course, <laughs> that might have been him at nine months. Who knows? Anyway... <laughs> Yeah, we are here, and uh, it's good to see you back. It's good to be back. I wanted to talk about this movie with you. I have watched it once. We just got done watching it about 15 minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, I'd say 15 so minutes. So it's fresh in our brains. And we're talking about the movie. What movie are we talking about? Crackoon. Crackoon. Crack kills. Crack. It definitely does in this one. This is directed by Brad Twig. And it's from Fuzzy Monkey Films. All right, so in this is starring, and I'm going to butcher your names. I'm very sorry about that. In fact, I can't even read the back of this. I'm holding my light up to it. Is Rosaria Drazo, Justin P. Martin, Gary Lee Vincent, Jessa Flux, Chris O'Brocky, Angel Bradford, Hunter Redfern, Tim Hale, Morgan Malam, and many, 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 many more. Well, if you put your glasses on, you'd be able to see. But if I put my glasses on, there's going to be a big glare like in yours. What and a I, nerd. I what a nerd. But I don't want to do that. <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry for anybody I didn't mention. There is a lot of names in this, a lot of cast. Big cast to this movie. And uh, Crackoon. Uh, influenced, I'm sure, by Cocaine Bear. There's been a lot of movies, you know, with those, just like Sharknado did for things, mm -hmm. um, which are still coming out, like Catnado is another one coming out, Ooh, which Cat I'll Nato. probably watch that. Um, but, you know, like I said, Cocaine Bear probably influenced this pretty much, you know, but uh, instead of cocaine, it's crack. What this movie is about, do you want to tell or you want me to tell? You do it. I'll tell. All right. Um, there's this street drug that gets, uh, you know, synthet synthetically altered, and you know it's it's crack. You know, we're gonna. I don't know if YouTube has a thing about that, but it's crack, and they do something to it to make it, you know, higher and that. They don't really say who does it, but you know, those that do it made it into this like looks like a tic tac, an orange tic tac almost, or like, like the color of my shirt. Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. or, or maybe like broken up rock, can rock, rock candy. candy. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, they they smoke it and um, they get, obviously, it gives them this like, oh my God, I never felt like this before. But then their our eyes turn orange and they start attacking people and like, you know, become almost like a cannibal in a way. But I don't, they don't say exactly if it's like a, I think it's just rage and they just attack people. Yeah. Right? But uh um it's they have this thing this drug and they're the uh drug dealers are driving and they get pulled they're gonna get pulled over by the cops so they throw the bag out of the door out of the window and what happens to the bag it rolls down a hill into the woods and a raccoon finds it a raccoon a nice little cute raccoon cute little raccoons all curious unzips the bag with its mouth it's like <laughs> it's very cute actually and um, basically transforms this cute little raccoon into this rabid raccoon that goes on a killing spree, basically. Mm -hmm. Anybody it comes in contact with, it gets, like, attacked, attacked yeah. and ripped apart brutally. Yes. Not just, like, Not uh, like a little scratch. It's, like, nope. ripped apart, like, guts, necks, guts faces tits tits <laughs> everything gets ripped apart everything uh so yeah that's like the main story mm -hmm. but there's like a couple little things going on not not really a lot of other story like there's a story with the um the drug main drug dealers going on which uh one's benny and one's frankie and um 
they're like a gay couple and that there's a great scene with them where they get pulled over with the cop. Oh, that was good. And the one cop is, you know, they're both older. But the one cop is like, Oh, you know, because he's like, Oh, we just got married. He's like, you did what? And the other cop is like, Oh, congratulations. <laughs> it's funny. And it's like a, like, Oh, why can't I get married? And like, it, it was just like a really funny part. Like, like legit laughed. It's not what you thought think a cop would act like, yeah. you know, like it was funny. Yeah. Like the one is all about them getting married. And of course the other one's like a typical, like redneck kind of like, Oh, you know, but he doesn't like really go back into it too much. But like, um, so yeah, they're, they, they're the ones who threw the bag over. And like I said, and then there's um, a bunch of group of kids. Well, I don't say kids, they're a group of people and they're going to like this house and they just, I guess they just want to get away for the weekend and stuff like that. Cause they don't really, I don't think they've really said why they're Did going they there. Say, well, it was spring break. College, oh, well, yeah, it was spring break. Are, yeah. But so. yeah, you're right. Cause they did say spring break. Cause there's, that's another story too. That was her cracking her knuckles, by the way, if you heard that. Um, Jessa Flux, uh, she's, I guess, going to college. I'm guessing for art because you see her painting. Then, um, but then their husband is like the uh, forest ranger kind of guy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a past with them. She cheated on him and stuff like that. So now he's got to go to work and uh, she's on spring break and He's like, have some fun. And she's like saying, no, I got to grade papers and stuff. It's it's kind of strange. Mm -hmm. And then it goes on with that. And like I said, there's the people in the house. And then there's uh, these two hunters that they come across. That's like very, again, we should say too, this movie isn't very PC. Um, mm -hmm. Not extreme or anything. I think it has a good evenness of back and forth like it's not like you know oh um, it's all homophobic or something it's like the rednecks that you know not all rednecks not saying all of them but like the it's ones stereotypical, stereotypical red yeah. thank you i couldn't think of the word redneck type person yeah and then you know but the uh the guy they're making fun of gives it right back to them you know it's like a good back and forth mm -hmm. um funny lines like like it's just it was a, it was a comical movie and um like i said they're just it's a it just says residents of this mountain community all in close proximity to the epicenter no one is safe from the monster unrelenting rampage but that's for sure it's it came out this year 2024 and it's 88 minutes and it i for one for some reason i thought it was only a little over an hour but it's almost an hour and a half it went by quick that's didn't what i was gonna it? ask you did it go quick for you yeah it didn't it wasn't boring it didn't there wasn't any parts i felt that had to be cut out you know sometimes we watch movies where like oh that scene was too long or there that was unnecessary i, I mm -hmm. felt like it all it flowed like it kept my interest and yeah for something to keep my interest she didn't, she didn't look at your phone i don't look at my phone at all that's so. one i always that say should that. be the test when i yeah. re review a movie did yeah. you look at your phone at all? Yep. Yes or no? And it's like I didn't because I, I was interested in it, but because it was like fast paced, like it kept going. Yeah. It wasn't dull. Yeah. You know? Agreed. I, I, I usually said in my reviews or whatever, like I didn't even look at my phone. That's how much I was into this movie. Mm -hmm. And like you said, fast paced. What's going to happen next? It kept you interested. And I know for me, for one thing, um, you have to like, characters or at least somebody mm -hmm. and there was a lot of likable characters in this even if they were only on for a short period of time yeah. mm -hmm. they were they were you know interesting to see you there know they were any, fun yeah there wasn't any that i that i thought oh i they're horrible or i want them to die first or you know anything <laughs> yeah. like that like you just were like oh okay like they all were kind of like funny and in their own way you know yeah mm -hmm. yeah they i think everybody brought something to the movie yeah I think they all did a, you know, an excellent job. To be honest, um, I say that the raccoon, he's cute even when he's like angry and bloody. But like <laughs> yeah. uh, his little mouth is open. Yeah, <laughs> they like it's a hand puppet too, I guess, because somebody's moving the mouth mm -hmm. and stuff. And then they'll just like to attack somebody. They're like somebody has to throw the raccoon to them, and they have to 
catch it in the right way where it looks like it's actually attacking. Yeah, because it always is like jumping it's at them. Boom, like, it's never. Yeah. It doesn't like run up to them. It like leaps onto them. So yeah, yeah like somebody's throwing it at them. Yeah, you're right. They have to catch it and make it look like. Uh, yeah, you know? and the bloopers, they, uh, especially Jessa Flux, they have to throw. They throw it at her so many times, and she's doing her best to like make it like, you know. They don't call cut, so they see what happens. And a lot of times she's catching it on her back, so it's like, ah, and then uh, it's just like. I think I would laugh a lot. It's funny. If I had to, like, yeah. re- like do that when somebody's throwing it at me, I think I would just laugh every day. Yeah, yeah. Be like, oh, or I'd catch it, like, like cuddly catch it. Like, I would just catch it, you know, not like, oh, I would just, oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to hold it. Oops, sorry. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I probably would be like, I don't know if I caught that right. Do it again. Yeah. But like no, I don't know. It's funny because nobody's calling cut, and they just keep going. And you could tell. It's like, should I keep going or not? Mm-hmm. You know. But mm-hmm. some of them are obviously thrown wrong to them. But it's funny. It, it was a funny movie, and uh, I honestly think I liked it more the second time around. I'll be honest. I think I was a little too stoned mm-hmm. the first time I watched this, but like. I still liked it, mm-hmm. but now rewatching it, there was like some scenes that I forgot about, uh, like the couple where she got bit on the finger and the other guy, oh, like, yeah. like, like, like little couples like that. They just have like people out in the, in these woods, you know, doing random things like they were supposed to go on vacation, but the, the, their, I get, I don't know if they're husband and wife or their boyfriend and girlfriend, but they're supposed to go on vacation, but he works at a hot dog stand and, uh, she doesn't work and she's pissed off because they wanted to go to Florida. And then like, they're trying to like just go fishing and stuff. And then mm-hmm. he walks away and she's like, I hope he falls in a sinkhole. And he's like, fucking bitch. <laughs> I hope, I hope she, I don't know, gets attacked by a bear or something like that. Uh, no one saw the uh, raccoon attack. No coming. one saw a raccoon. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really funny. It's very bloody. There's a little bit of CGI in it. There's like quick scenes where you see a, a CGI'd raccoon walking up to the girl in the yeah, chair. Yeah, CGI is a little. But it wasn't like it's, bad. It's it was. It's not it's like a, a sci-fi channel movie where it's like the whole the shark the whole time is like right. CGI. Right. It's and it just looks like quickly crap. walking, so it, it works. Yeah. You, you know, you you, you can excuse yeah, it. You yeah. know, but because ninety-eight percent of the movie is practical effects. Mm-hmm. There might be some like fake smoke, like when they're doing a crack. Like, I don't, I'm doing the crack. Let's just tell it shows smoking you how much crack? smoking the crack, <laughs> you know. Um, and it looks, you know, a fake smoke comes up, but it's done well. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't notice it the first time, but this time, I'm like, oh, I think that's fake. I didn't but I don't even it. know. I didn't even notice fake smoke. You didn't? No, I didn't. I didn't pick up on that. So there so. you go. Not everybody notices it. I guess I just I see so much stuff that I notice this stuff. But yeah, um, I thought it was done very well. I mm-hmm. think everything was done well. Like a, a hundred times I said it already, it's, it's very funny. And I want to say this too. I've actually said it um, in the um, Ghouls of Midnight review. We were talking about a movie and the movie was so bad. Okay, so we actually started talking about other things later on. And we were mentioned Crackoon because my friend had just Anubis had just reviewed it. And... Um, what I said there, I'm going to say now. Now, I've never seen Cocaine Bear, okay? I've heard all about it, and I heard it's not a comedy, which sounds like it could be, you know? And then I also know it's a true story or it's based on true events or whatever. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. But I still think a coke, a bear on coke would be a hilarious movie. And... I've never seen it, and I heard it's serious. And what I said was, this movie is what I was hoping or thought, again, didn't see it, that Cocaine Bear was going to be like. You know, except this is a raccoon. Just picture this movie with a bear on coke going after all these people in the woods. It'd be great. Mm-hmm. Instead, they got a crack a raccoon. I almost I'm gonna probably call them raccoons from now on because I can't raccoons. remember or rakens. Rake, I was gonna say rakens. <laughs> but like, yeah. Um I think again, didn't see cocaine bear. I still want to, but I want a comedy. 
I and this is what I got with this. This is exactly how I wanted again, didn't see it, cocaine bear to be. And maybe there's funny parts in it, you know, mm -hmm. but like this is just like it even says horror comedy on the back. Yeah, so it's, you expect it. Don't think it's gonna be like yeah. a serious like a serious no. like, scary no way horror film. Like it's funny. Yeah. But I guess that kind of I was gonna ask you, do you think that something like this could really happen? But then you said that the bear one's based well, off a true I story. Think, I think yeah, I think so. I think if an animal finds like a cocaine or something I guess a bear would work, but I think if a raccoon found it, it'd probably die. Yeah, it'd be you know? like ingest too much. But I mean, but let's just say a little bit. Do you think it would go around like attacking, attacking people, or would yeah, it just kind I, of I lay think, there? I think it would. I think it. I don't know. It depends. I mean, this is special crack, right? That like, oh, it turns everybody like this. You know, not just the raccoons; it turns the people into it. So I think if a raccoon found cocaine in the forest, I <laughs> I think if they took a little bump, is that what they call it a bump? If they took a little I bump, I I think maybe it would just like I don't know if it would attack people or what. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to like imagine like hearing this on the news, like I don't know, realistically, no, my... like a rabid animal, and they tested it, and they found out there was like cocaine or something in its in its system that's why it was doing it like i'm just trying to like put it in like a realistic situation Could i don't know if the thing would go after people but i think if you went to touch it it would probably definitely attack you oh yeah probably, i mean that's probably regardless right yeah it probably wouldn't i don't what. know i guess we'll have to find out <laughs> we have woods behind us yeah. so in fact the movie looks like our backyard most of it yeah right. and like the roads they were driving on looked like like I could go on a road right now that looks exactly like that. Yeah, it looks like it was filmed around here. Like, well, two two parts of it. I don't know what to be honest. I'm unaware, but there are they did film in Pennsylvania in two different places, but they're not close to us. They're more like toward Pittsburgh, like the opposite. Yeah, and then the other places they shot in was West Virginia, Mountain Mama, Country Road. Anyway, yeah, they uh look just like our roads i don't know i can't distinguish west virginia to, to pennsylvania in those but i'll tell you what I, I like i like movies that have back roads like that with like because one it makes me feel like it is filmed here and mm -hmm. a lot of times it is or like upstate new york or the, the woods and that but like it makes me feel like uh better oh kitty <laughs> what are you doing Ravi. Anyway, you got a cat coon back there. Cat coon. Crack cat. Crack cat. Yeah, not cat, cat. cat coon. No, it doesn't make any sense to be a cat. I raccoon. know. <laughs> or cocoon. Cat cocoon. No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> It'll have wings. <laughs> Red Bull. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, there's bonus features on this disc. I actually donated to the Indiegogo. I have it here, but it's like, you know, the glare. It's signed by Brad. And, uh, yeah, it's it, it's uh, got, you know, a Jessa Flux interview on it, bloopers and outtakes, Rex Jones production diary and trailers. And uh, the outtakes are pretty good. Um, at the very end, Chris Ridings, who was... Uh, in a movie with me that has yet to come out his hair actually caught on fire in it so it's like it's the very last skit um clip on the bloopers but i was like oh shit like that was real but um <laughs> i i thought i thought he did a good job like again i know him i know him i met him before and everything he was in the movie with me angel bradford uh was another one you didn't actually meet her but uh, from on night of the act she's the one who did like my makeup and that and uh so like she's been like knocking one after another uh, you know these movies come just one after another like i said did she do like makeup stuff on this movie too that i don't know hmm. um but if she she might have um but yeah like uh i you know she's a great person i loved working with her 
and um she uh she's i i I don't like saying the word scream queen i wasn't gonna say that i was gonna say she has a hell of a scream so is morgan milan if i'm saying milam i'm sorry but uh she's the one who was like in the bed and it and the raccoon was doing some things to her uh you know which was another you know i guess that's another thing that this movie has is bestiality (laughs) <laughs> I didn't think about that, but yeah, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on, but uh, yeah, she uh, she has a hell of a scream, like a really good scream. Just a flick. they all do. They mm-hmm. like they all had good screams. It wasn't it was believable. Everybody in this movie, I think, did an excellent job. Like I, there wasn't really anybody I didn't like. I think maybe my least liked person, I'm sorry, is probably the guy who was like uh, in bed with Morgan. Uh, again, I can't remember the names of the people. Oh, yeah, in I don't the movie. remember the names. But like, he was kind of really obnoxious, and uh, I guess you said like there was nobody you wanted to die. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I kind of wanted him to go. But yet he was funny at times. But yet it was like a little too much. And I think if I were going to cut a part um, down, at least it would probably be where. Oh, Hunter uh, Redfern, uh, when he he's goes on, <laughs> it's disgusting though this scene, but like he's going to take a shit. Oh yeah, and that's fine and all, but like he's on the phone. Why? I, I it must have been like a Indiegogo part or something. I don't know, but there he's watching this like comedian on the phone and that, and I was like, I don't really need that. I get people do that. I do that. But, like, I didn't really need that whole extended scene of him on the toilet. It could have been like, oh, he just dropped. He's like, ooh, twins. And he goes, ooh, triplets. <laughs> and I and I looked at her. I go, only men do that. Yeah, I was like, like, I'll admit it. I've, I've, I've laughed at that. Like, oh, you know, like, oh, another one. While it's you're weird. On the phone. No, not on. He wasn't on the phone yet. Oh, yeah. But he was still. just pooping. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, then he went on the phone. But, like, uh, I think that could have been cut down a little bit. Yeah. But his death was gross oh so gross spoiler sorry about that let's just say let's just uh, i'm not gonna say who dies not gross Uh, well yeah but i'm not gonna say who dies in the movie but a lot of people die let's just put that way um but should we say how he dies i want to say it i want to say it so if you don't want to hear this part skip forward he gets attacked because the raccoon raccoon makes its way into the house because the guy opened the window, of course. And he gets attacked from behind and it's, you know, ripping his skin off and everything. And then like, I don't know if he falls or whatever, but like his head goes in the toilet and there's shit in the toilet. You actually see three pieces of shit yeah, his triplets. in the toilet, his triplets. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Oh my god, there's really shit in the toilet. Like yeah, I like, thought ew. I first thing I thought was that's good cuz a lot of movies probably wouldn't even put shit in the toilet, but they just... they made sure for uh continuity that there's actually shit in there because he didn't flush, he didn't even wipe because it, who the hell would <laughs> leave the toilet paper the way they did? There was just the, there was not, the, just roll. the roll. Yeah. There's no paper on it. Whoever whoever did that deserved to be ripped apart by a raccoon. I don't cuz it was, but the gross thing is he pulls his underwear up and his pants and he's still is shit in his ass and he kind of like reaches back and scratches his ass and I thought, oh my God, this is just me. But I'm thinking like, I put myself in these situations like if this was me, I would just like keep my pants down, grab a towel and like walk out and be like, hey, anybody have any toilet paper? Yeah, you right? Know? I wouldn't have pulled them up. I wouldn't have pulled my pants up. Scratched and, it. Like... Oh, it's that like, but the part where his head goes in the toilet... Yeah, but didn't he like when he came out? He spit something out. Yeah, he sh- He spit some shit. It was gross, and I actually just got done like eating something. So I'm like, oh, it kind of got to me. That and the one girl, she fell over and she was like spitting out this orange, the orange stuff. And when it comes to like mucus, snots, uh, not okay. really puke, but like like that stuff. It makes it get it gets to me like loogies. Oh, I ugh. hate them. I me hate too. them. I can do anything, but that I cannot like spew them. Yeah, I like to think I have a cast iron stomach when it comes to watching these things. And but when I just ate and I see that 
or like he spit out shit for god's sake yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like Ugh, you know boy i'm getting sick honestly i'm i just got like Ugh, right there <laughs> i'm such a wimp but anyway i i don't think a lot of people would like that but no anyway, I don't our think cat's a lot of people. back there like getting possessed yeah she had her leg up in the air too but like uh what was your what was your favorite part in the movie? The toilet scene. Really? No. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I kind of like. I have to think about it. I don't know. I I don't know if I have a favorite part, but I have a favorite character. Okay. Who's your favorite character? I liked Frankie. Me too. Frankie. He had some like good one liners. He was funny. Yeah. Quick comebacks. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he he was... made the movie funny. Oh my God! Yeah. He, he was definitely my favorite in the whole movie. Um, what was it? Do you have a favorite part? Favorite part? I honestly don't know. There's a lot of good parts in this. Um, I think just the dialogue back and forth between a lot of different characters was like the best things in it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I'd have to really think about yeah, that. Yeah, think about it. But I think my probably my favorite part was when they got pulled over by the cops because that actually like really made me laugh. I was like, oh my god! Mm -hmm. Like it was just, it's just, it was just funny, man. I, it was a lot of good humor, and uh, I'm so glad that this came out. I don't know; they were making Crocodile. I don't know if that's gonna come out now or not. I don't know if they got enough money for it, but I'd like to get that. And I think in this movie, I had mentioned to you, they're talking a lot about like, oh, so and so called about a Sasquatch up at their house and blah blah, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's Brad Twig wants to make it, but I think he's wants to make <laughs> Crack Squatch, <coughs> which I would love oh, to that, see. That's right up your alley. Crack Squatch. Oh, my God. So funny. Um, I'll play Sasquatch if you want. I would love to be in a movie. Oh, put me in a movie. Well, put him in that movie, put, somebody. If you're making it or whatever any movie except, right except porn i don't want no yeah no porn. No, no porn no porn um unless it's a gay one well that's okay then no but uh yeah uh <laughs> yeah I, I i really liked it a lot uh what would you rate this what would i rate it out of 10 i'll give it an eight eight you know i, I i'm right up there with you i i would say probably eight eight and a half okay yeah i think so I, I i i would watch this again i've watched it second time now and i would definitely watch this again would you watch it again i probably would like if I, she like, never puts movies on no i never put if i put movies it on, on would you watch it again sure yeah and i don't yeah i never just put movies on he does and i watch them so i never watch something a second time ever but I would watch it. TV again. shows are another thing, though. Oh, TV shows I've seen a million shows over and over again. But movies, for some reason, I'm I'm not like that. But I'd yeah. watch it again. Yeah. But all in all, <clears throat> I think uh, I think they hit it. How do they say it? Hit it out of the park, or mm -hmm. you know, they a home run with this movie. Run, yeah. You know, Crackoon. I mean, look at that cover; is amazing. Uh, yeah, I I just I recommend this movie to you. I would say if you're, you could watch this sober or in a impaired way if you want. <laughs> I think either way you'll have a great experience with the movie, and uh, I'm glad I contributed to this. That I'm I'm glad I helped get it made. Um, this is definitely. Um, I said this about Frogman as well, but uh, I definitely think that this movie and well, Unfrogman, I think they're in my top 10 for this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, um, yeah, I, I just think people should see this. I think it's funny and, uh, you know, help support independent cinema and get mm -hmm. these kind of things made because they're so much fun. And, you know, it could be the future stars of, of other movies. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling here, but like. <laughs> Yeah, it, it it's definitely worth the watch. There's so much more we could say about it, but we don't want to spoil things. Yeah, we'll end up talking and, um, and giving stuff away. Yeah. We already did a little 
not spoilers. Did we do spoilers? I, I guess. Well, we I said about the toilet. Well, you said skip this part, so you gave a heads yeah. up at least. You weren't yeah. just like, here's how it ends, you know? Yeah, I think it's definitely worth a watch, and I think a lot of people will like it. Yeah. And uh, so I guess that's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Like I said before, if you could please give this video a thumbs up. Like your buddy. Like my buddy Tom Hardy here. <laughs> and subscribe if you are not a subscriber. Let us know what you thought of this movie. If you've seen it, did you, you know, contribute to it? Uh, is your name at the end? Uh, I Mine's not because I just got the Blu-ray and a signature, but that's okay. I'm just glad I, I it finally came out because I was looking forward to this movie. And it was worth the wait. Mm -hmm. So excellent job, everybody. And uh, yeah, so if there's anything you want us to review, let us know. And we will do it. I'm going to try to have her on the channel more often. I like to be on more often, too. Yeah, and we got to get going because we got to get the kids off the bus. So <laughs> again, thanks, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.